Welcome to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And there's a little something more in the air than a gentle breeze off the Black Warrior. It's the opening of another Crimson Tide football season under the lights in Bryant-Denny Stadium. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here. And you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from Conference USA, the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Start the return inside his five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. So the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers return man hardly helped out the offense with that one. And here he comes, a man who epitomizes the phrase, the tight end's always open, David. And yes, he is, Reese. And it's so cool. The tight end position now has evolved so much. You can move him all over the field, and you can really highlight a guy of his ability. Too big for safeties to cover and too fast for linebackers to cover. This is a weapon they've got to take advantage of. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. Might as well give it to him again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. The Hilltoppers send out the punt unit. Just got to wonder, too, guys, if the crowd didn't impact the offense. They're playing on the road on the first third down of this football game. Incomplete. The idea here, I think, just put it away and see if you can regroup this. This environment is hostile. So the Alabama Crimson Tide offense comes out for their first possession of the game. This matchup on the outside, Jesse, a big play weapon for the offense, a shutdown corner for the D. They say big time players make big plays in big games, so who gets the best of this matchup? That's gonna determine the game. Yeah, I mean, such a fun chess match. How much are they on each other during the game, the head-to-head -head matchup that everybody wants to see? Pass the sticks, and he may get more. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. If you're going to play Bama tough, you're going to find out really early if you can handle the running game. They're going to check your chin. I mean, they're going to come in and they're going to give you a steady diet up. Even when they've had great quarterback play and spread the ball out, it's still a physical principle. They're going to make you stop the run. If you can't stop it, it could be a long game. Plows through the defense. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Grab near the sticks. It's long. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. And had they not picked up that first down, it would have been decision time for the head coach, right? You're kind of in no man's land on the fridge, or you're trying to run for a goal, or you're going for it on fourth down. But because of the execution there and the nice throw, let's keep this drive going. Let's see if we can get six. Looking down the middle. Got him downfield. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. This offensive scoring position with a fresh set of downs. Turning to the running game on first and goal. And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown time! They strike first in that opening drive of the season. Could not have gone better. And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst, and he showed all of those attributes right there. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Oh, 
And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0 on. They marched 58 yards for the touchdown on that one. And the capper on that drive, the 10-yard touchdown run. He'll bring it out. It's Hutchinson. I imagine he's going to get an earful on the sideline after bringing it out of the end zone and being knocked down at the 11. Running back searching for a hole. Good pick up on the ground there. Give him five to the 16-yard line. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll do it himself. Got enough for the first. And it's on the ground. He's got the ball, and he'll try to pick up a few. Man, those are so frustrating when you're a defense and you swarm to the football and you stick the quarterback and you make him cough it up just to have the other team recover it again and you don't get it. Still a good stick, still a good physical play. Keep it in that quarterback. And they pick up just a few on that completion. After that last completion, it's second down. Great effort by the defense here. Offense trying to go wide receiver screen. How about the speed on defense rallying to the football? Caught in the backfield, it's Young. And he'll be run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Not a very productive play there. Listen, if I'm a QB, second down, I want to check the ball down and get a manageable third down. But when this defense is flying around like this, so fast closing out, he got to that running back, got him on the ground so fast, the running back had nowhere to go. And that's a play on third down. This offense just has to do a better job protecting their quarterback, give them a split second more time to complete that throw, but they couldn't do it there. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Here comes that Alabama offense. Looking for a gap, it's Young. Showed off just about every move in the book, except the forward move. Stopped for a short game. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And after that last run, we'll see if they keep it on the ground on third. Looking for a man. It's Milrow. Fires to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Slippery slide. Find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama! And this offense is firing on all cylinders right now. Starting the year, game one, and creating a little bit of a pad and separation at the end of this first half. But you can see why so many people are really excited about this offense this season. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Miami is going to get out of Dodge with a win. It's a shave that might have been a little closer than Kane's fans wanted. But a road victory feels great no matter what the final score is. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Face mask penalty cost the D 15 yards and a first down. The offense will gladly take a fresh set of downs after the penalty. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. No, he should have had that one right in his hands and he couldn't hang on. Typically, he makes that play. It'll be second down. They'll leave it with him. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense. And now it's fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. The tied offense rolls onto the field. 
Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. Looking to throw for it. Grab near the marker. It's Bernard. Tackle is made after the first down. A new set of downs after the completion. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot. Get the ball out of your hands quickly. Make an accurate throw and pick up the first. Well done. Looking for a man. It's Milrow. It's complete to the left. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. From the gun. Wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Oh, the big fellow almost had the interception. Instead, it'll be fourth down. The Crimson Tide will bring the punt team on the field. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. He'll bring it back. It's Hutchinson. He'll get it out to about the 20-yard line, and that's where they'll mark him down. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. Off the RPO, complete. Nice job seeing it, reacting, and throwing. When you run these RPOs, you want to read the defense really quickly. Is he playing run? Okay, boom. I'm going to throw the slant right behind him. Nice job by the QB. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. And the Hilltoppers come to the line with a new set of downs. Wide receiver shows motion. Here comes the speed on the jet sweep. Great job by the defense there, slowing down that jet sweep. And a big key was the defensive end containing the play, forcing the receiver to cut back inside to where all the traffic was. Grab behind the line. It's Smith. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Trying to get to it. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Oh, it's a missed opportunity. You know the quarterback was excited. He saw man coverage. He thought he was going to have an opportunity to come up with a big play, but up front, they could not protect him well enough. The Hilltoppers will try to pin them back with the punt. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. Here comes that Alabama offense. They wanted to set the tone, strike quickly. Jesse, they've done exactly that, up two touchdowns. And this quarterback has been dialed in, too. He's been so good reading coverage, going to where the open guy is with the football. They've been up and down the field, David, so far. And this defense needs to make something happen right now. I mean, you've already given up a couple touchdowns. Your offense has got nothing going. Still early in the game. Get a stop. Create some momentum for your offense. They'll run play action. Makes the grab. It's Bernard. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. And he's knocked down, but there's also laundry on the field. We'll see what the officials have called. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. 
The offense lining up for a first down play. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Caught behind the line. It's Haynes. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. And now on second down for this offense. They're going to throw it again. Coming after it. Feeling some heat. Couldn't find anyone open here, and he'll live to fight another play. It'll be third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Back to throw. It's Milrow. Fires toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Bama! And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored. Another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And here's the return. And the returner will be knocked down. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, they've been making sure they're in the right books, and he's got to be really good with his decision making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quickly. On the ground, it's Young. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. How aggressive will they get on first and 10? And you're going to hear this guy's name a lot. They're going to ride the big fella. He's such a stud. They're going to build the offense around him. This is just game one, but you're going to get a lot of big runs from this guy. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reels so far, but starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. catch in the middle it's Smith they stop him almost immediately short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first and that's the advantage of being a big wide receiver because now you're a big target and on these slant routes you don't have to run the perfect route but you can use your size and your physicality to get the job done almost every time they'll pick up four second and six coming Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. Back to pass, it's Fenley. Makes the grab on the left. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. This will be the ninth play of the drive coming up. It's a third and two. He'll keep it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. And that is no good. Couldn't find the range on the field goal, couldn't cut into the deficit, and they're still down by 21. The tied offense rolls onto the field. How about that last drive just carved him up in the air, David? Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. He's got an open man. They're ripping off chunks of yard to take, get it to the 33. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Wants to fire on second down. 
Going to try to pop one on the screen. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. This offense has been a juggernaut, and they have a chance to pad their total just before halftime. Snag in the end zone! Touchdown, Crimson Tide! And it's been more of the same in the second half of this offense, doing whatever they want. What a start to the season, man. This is exactly what you draw up. Everything they drew up in the offseason has worked in game one, and that's why they are dominating this football game. And it looks as if they've buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. After taking another look, just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. Oklahoma rolled to a victory, and after putting up this kind of win, there has to be some Heisman buzz around a program that produced four winners of the award between 2003 and 2018. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. They'll try to get the first through the air. Another incompletion on third down. And the Hilltoppers will send out the punt unit. The defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel in the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Here comes that Alabama offense. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be throwing for a first down. If I get it, then it's pedal to the metal. I'm in that two-minute mode to try to score a touchdown or get a field goal. But I do think this is a situation where you also have to understand that I have the lead going into the half. I've got the momentum, so don't do anything stupid here. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin and our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a great one today from there in Tuscaloosa. And the story of the half has been that elite corner. We were told he was tough to throw against. He's basically taken away an entire side of the field when he's out there, causing turnovers and getting physical. How often do we say that about lockdown guys and how this offense schemes against him in this second half will be fun to watch. And with that said, let's send it back to the guys at Bryant-Denny Stadium. The Hilltoppers will kick it away to crank up the second half. On the move from inside is five. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. The tied offense rolls onto the field. They'll open the second half with a run. Sports across the 30 to the 32, a pickup of five. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Leaves it with the back. Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. They'll try to run for it. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Takes the handoff. It's Haynes. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Nice move to stay on his feet. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. At the 35, he's open. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The Crimson Tide comes to the line with the first and 10. 
They'll run it from the gun. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Trying to surprise him with the pass. Quick strike complete. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. The Grimson Tide snaps it from the red zone. You can hand it to him. You can throw it to him. Either way, he's making his presence known. Those are your favorite plays, Reese. The him plays, right? They're <laughs> finding ways to get him the ball because he can make plays, whether it's running or receiving out of the backfield. They're going to continue to highlight this guy. Touchdown time! And the route is on. And add it on again. This offense has done whatever they want, however they want, and this lead has ballooned. When you start a season off, you want to build momentum. You want to defeat an opponent and beat them badly. That's exactly what they've done. This team looks ready to compete for a national championship. This quarterback obviously did a lot of film prep coming into this one. He has been picking this defense apart. With that last completion, guys, he's now got over 300 yards passing. And they tack on the extra point for a 35-0 lead. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Western Kentucky, zero. He'll bring it out. It's Hutchinson. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the neutral zone too soon. Defense just a little too eager, and that's five yards for the O. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Back to throw, it's Fenley. Takes the easy throw in the flat. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. They'll try to get on the same page this time. Second and 10 from the 31. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Right on target this time. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Trying to pick up a first down. On third down, going up top. Safe completion on the screen. And he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. And the Hilltoppers will call on their punt team. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Here comes the offense on first down. Out of the gun. The running back has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Still running at the 40. And they get him down at the 43, but this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. He's racked up 92 yards on the day, and the defense has been getting a steady diet of this dude on opening day. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Grabbed behind the line, it's Miller. And there is nothing doing on that one. You got the completion and nothing else to show for it. Looking to throw on second down. Lines his big tight end. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. This tight end just creates matchup problems no matter how you try to defend it. How about the catch radius on him, too? So as a quarterback, grabs it inside the 15. Touchdown, Alabama! And the punishment has been extended. 
That was just as simple as playing catch in warm-ups. And this offense felt like they could take advantage of this defense down the field throwing the football. They've got a lot of speed on the perimeter, and I feel like they've got some matchups they feel they should be winning one-on-one. -on -one. We saw a great example of it right there. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Not going to give him a chance to make a play as they boot that thing through the end zone. Offense set on first down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Motion from the offense. The give to the tailback. He's got it out to the 37 after gaining five. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Hands it off. We'll give him a couple on that with second and eight coming up. Went with the running game on first down. Now back at it. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. He stopped at the 48, a pickup of 10 on the play. Shut down and shut out in the first half, but finally this offense trying to put something together. He's looking to throw it. He's got his man. My old coach said you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never can win. From the gun, running back on the move. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So Alabama takes the lead into the quarter break. This has been a complete obliteration so far as the third quarter stats will show you. So will the beatdown continue or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. Takes it from the gun on third down. Makes the grab. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. It'll bring up a big decision. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. From that spot on the field, it almost takes the decision out of him. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. And as a defense, a lot of times you're coming into the game and you're just trying to limit the damage when you play a really great quarterback. And they've done more than that today. They have dominated this football game. The offense has carried their weight, and this is looking like a great outcome. They've got some serious work to do to keep that last one from messing up this drive. Second and 19. He's looking to throw. With the catch, it's Johnson. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. And the missed connection on third down. The Hilltoppers will bring the punt team onto the field. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but... They're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. Just searching and working for the running room as he gets it out to the 26. And what you see late in games, man, those teams that can really run the football and run that clock when they got a lead, you really win a lot more football games. So I think you look for them to be physical down the stretch of this game, try to continue to do this on the ground, continue to eat that clock. 
I just love quarterbacks that aren't greedy and that aren't always trying to throw the home run ball, right? Second down, you're in your own end of the field. The guy you want to throw to is not open. Just find the back. He'll go do something positive with it. This guy is a weapon, and you got to find him in the passing game. They'll run it from the gun. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. Alabama will bring the punt team on the field. That's why, as a defense, you feel okay playing man coverage on third down because you know you've got linebackers and you've got players on your defense that can cover these dangerous running backs mano in mano. Nice job tackling in the open field. They're bringing heat. Makes a connection. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? And the Hilltoppers with the first and ten. Pressure coming. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. And this defense came to play. They know about the high-profile QB. They rose to the challenge and dominated the competition today. They took care of business, and they made no doubt about who's the better football team. After the big first down sack, it's second down. He's looking to throw. They're working that left side. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on him, right? They've got the lead. It's late. And they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this. Be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. You got to throw first down. You got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Here comes that Alabama offense. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. And there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. He just broke the century mark, 100 yards rushing, and with that run, he's now over 100 yards on this opening day. Leaves it with the running back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground after picking up a couple at second and eight. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Offense in a bunch formation. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're on offense. You have the lead. You want to chew the clock, keep the ball on the ground, keep that thing just ticking. They're just imposing their will, Dave. And that's something that we've seen, I think, all game. Up front, they've been the more physical team. They're the ones that's getting pushed and that's getting movement. And it's carrying over all the way here deep into the fourth quarter. They stop him at the 42, but they get it across midfield. Pick up 10 and the first down. On the run, it's Haynes. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Offense about to reel off its seventh play of the drive. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Trying to put together a long, time-consuming drive. This eighth play will be third and two. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Oh, he dropped it! Oh, look what I found. The offense keeps it. Inside the 30 at the 29, it's a first down. We 
We waited so long to start the season, and just the way you want to start, getting that first victory. And the first games are so much fun. You've been practicing against each other over and over all through camp. Now you get to come out, start the season off 1-0, Jesse. Great start. It was a great start for the winning team. Now, for the losing team, obviously, not the way you want to get into this season. There were some mistakes with execution, and guys are going to have to do a better job individually. But that's why you play the games. You get to now go back to the drawing board, get back on the practice field, try and iron out these wrinkles. It's a long season ahead. A lot to play for. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.